Okay, okay. Here's our guitar lesson for this. Okay, uh, first things first is the tone. I get my tone by I'm plugging to a solid state amp um, on the bridge pickup. I got the bass at ten, mids at zero, and I got the treble up to around five. Gains at ten, uh, presence is at ten. Contour, if you have contour on your amp, it's at zero. Because so we want to get a nice bassy sound. You want to get that bass sound because Greg would make his guitar. He turned the bass all the way up to get it sound like a bass. And the tone would, or the treble would be up a little bit so you can get that that kind of sound, right? So the first thing is it starts off with this. That's just a power chord walk down from uh, E5, D5, C5, B5. And he hits them once on the first time around. And the second time around, he hits them twice. And on that B5, he plays it on the lowest, on the seven here, and, or the seven here and the nine here, as opposed to here. So you can go, or he kind of plays that open like that. And then it goes, the, so it, uh, it goes uh, uh, verse, pre-chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and it repeats, right? So the, ver so the verse is. Right, so that's, um, come a little closer, you can see here. That's. So it's E5, right? Low E string. It's kind of hard to tell if he's playing the low E string or if he's playing the full. E and the two on the A, right? But it's not like you're just playing a low E string, so it goes. Then, it, then it's three, two, O oh, on the A string. So if I see that right. And then the pre chorus is A. Every time I see to be, I've. E, D, C. This is like the intro, right? So it's A to B, B, C, or E, D, C. Then he does this bend. That's on the ninth fret on the G string. So, right, you can kind of be sloppy with it because that's how Greg is, right? And then it goes to. I, I can't shut off my mind. And then instead of the bend, it goes F to E. And then it goes back to the verse, right? So the whole the whole pre-chorus, the, the verse is... And then the pre-chorus is... And then it goes to the verse again. And it does the pre-chorus again. But when it goes to... It doesn't go back to the verse the second time around. It goes right into the chorus, which is like... So that, that whole thing is kind of the same, except every... It goes four times around. The first time, Greg only plays the notes. E, G, A, D, or C, then D. Right? And then he does the full chords, E5, G5, A5, C5, D5, and then he goes uh, E5, and this time around he does like the full, kind of on it, right? Let me turn the volume up. And 
And then the fourth time he goes only through E, a, G, A, and then he goes uh, three to five on the high E, four times each. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's um, those notes there. And then he goes. That's three to five on, on E. A four, two, four on A. And then four again. That's a five to three on D, back to four on A. So it's. And then the last time around he goes. And what he's doing there, he goes three to five on E, four, two, four on A, then he goes five, three on A, back to five on A, and then he bends up, all right? And then the whole thing kind of repeats, except for the solo. Um, the solo is kind of a bitch though, because he's playing like very random things. And so when I do the solo, I kind of just half-ass it. I know he kind of starts off on this, like, um, after he goes, or picks right. And he goes. And he goes. And you just kind of have to play random bullshit. You know, you have to act like you know how to play guitar. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then it kind of repeats itself, the whole thing. Just listen to, um, listen to the song, get the structure for it. I actually wrote out, like, the structure for the song, so I'll probably post that in the description of the comments or some shit. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I hope this video helped. Time I see, I've got my hands up to the fire. I can't shut off my mind. Now I wear my hands are wrapped around the bars Burn my soul is wrapped around the bars Burn